The NBA is home to some of the greatest athletes in the world. Players who dominate the court with their skills, athleticism, and talent. But not every legend is known for their game. Some have gained a reputation for something a little less glamorous. In today's video, we're diving into the list of the top 7 stinkiest NBA players of all time. From infamous locker room tales to legendary on-court stench, these players have made their mark in a way that no one can forget. So, grab some air freshener, sit back, and let's get into it. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more NBA content just like this. Don't forget to tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming up next. Starting with number 7, Pau Gasol. Without a doubt, San Antonio Spurs veteran Pau Gasol is one of the greatest NBA players of all time. He has won two NBA championships with the Los Angeles Lakers and was a six-time NBA All-Star and was a four-time All-NBA selection. Gasol has accomplished a lot of tremendous feats on the court, but his life off the court remains questionable. No, he didn't make headlines by partying and engaging in alcohol and drug use, but his personal hygiene has reportedly made other NBA players describe him as one of the nastiest guys in the league. Well, Gasol does look like that. He doesn't care much about his hygiene. He has been spotted with a nasty underarm hair which makes it seem like he doesn't shower on a regular basis. Number 6. Lamar Odom I'm leaving. Yeah, bye. Well, yeah. I think Lamar has a cavity. Duh, he has like 20, I'm sure. No, I could smell it. I'm leaving. On a very special episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim Kardashian decides to inform her sister, Khloe Kardashian, about a delicate issue concerning her then-husband, Lamar Odom's oral hygiene. I almost throw up in my mouth every time I hug him, Kim says to Chloe in an apparent reference to Lamar's halitosis. It is later revealed in the episode that the former basketball star suffers from a fear of going to the dentist because it hurts. Kim offers to arrange a visit to her dentist, who will put the big man completely under so he won't have to hear a tool. We'll just go ahead and state the obvious here. Out of all of the questionably unhygienic things Odom has been accused of, having bad breath seems like it would be pretty low on the list. Number 5. Brian Grant Remember what we said back there about NBA players calling each other out on their offensive odor? Well, even five-time NBA champion Kobe Bryant isn't above slinging a little stinky shade on his teammates. During a live Q&A, Jimmy Kimmel asked Bryant, who is the smelliest player you ever played with? Bryant replied, Brian Grant, because of his dreads. Grant grew his signature dreadlocks after becoming inspired by the music of Bob Marley, most notably the song, War, which highlighted the kind of institutional racism Grant reportedly dealt with growing up in rural Ohio. According to Bleacher Report, Grant's lifetime NBA earnings topped $100 million, some of which he used to fund various philanthropic efforts. Number 4. Adam Morrison Former Gonzaga small forward Adam Morrison was once touted as one of the top NCAA basketball players in the nation. But as soon as he entered the NBA after being drafted third overall by the then Charlotte Bobcats in 2006, his professional career proved that he was nothing more than a bust. With that being said, Morrison's hygiene also took a fall. When Phoenix Suns forward Jared Dudley was asked about the nastiest teammate he has ever had, he asked, remember Adam Morrison? He never took showers, he did the chewing tobacco that he spit all the time, and he wore the same three polos the whole year. Number 3. Ronnie Turiaf Turioff appeared in 520 games over the course of his decade-long NBA career, but he also gained a notorious reputation for his strong body odor, which disgusted a lot of fellow ballers. In a 2011 interview on the Dan Lovatard show, 
Amare Stude Meyer confirmed that Turioff was a league stinker. Stude Meyer responded, Confirmed confirmation granted. But let's not forget that Turioff is a Frenchman. According to a modern poll, 4 in 10 French people don't shower every day and an additional 11% shower just once every 3 days. Number 2. Boris Diaw Amre Stoudemire's take on unhygienic NBA players didn't stop at Ronnie Turioff. Stoudemire also took a shot at former Utah Jazz big man. As we've already mentioned, it seems like a lot of Frenchmen don't bathe or shower and Diaw is one of those Frenchmen. Various sources have reported that Stoudemire said, I don't know, man. I try not to get close to these guys. But I think Boris Diaw might be a close second. Well, Stoudemire might think that Diaw is a close second on his list of less than perfect NBA players. But seriously, he has nothing to be worried about as Diaw is all the way in his native France. So, he has nothing to worry about since he likely won't contact him in any way after he retires from basketball altogether. And finally, the number one in our list, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal had himself an illustrious 19-year career in the NBA as he spent eight years with the history-filled Los Angeles Lakers from 1996 to 2004 and was often dubbed as one of the best centers in the league by many folks. Shaq retired with the Boston Celtics after the 2010-11 NBA season and was elected to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2016 and then the FIBA Hall of Fame in 2017. He currently works as an analyst on NBA on TNT's Inside the NBA. Lots of people, including viewers, were weary of his personal hygiene and grooming habits, but he never seemed to care about what people thought about him. And there you have it. Our countdown of the seven stinkiest NBA players of all time. Did your favorite player make the list or did we miss someone who should have been included? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos. We've got plenty more NBA content coming your way, so stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one.